Good morning, Ti... 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 Timmy? Timmy? Timmy! He's not... He's not here. That's peculiar. Um, hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I've got tired tears, and welcome back to Minecraft Evolution. This is a little bit weird. I guess he decided not to show up for work today, seeing as I told him that I was going to spend today's episode sorting out my own secret Santa, and it wouldn't be very secret if I had somebody doing it with me, would it? So, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get into that, I've just realized that I haven't actually opened my secret Santa from actual real life just yet, from the office. So, when I initially saw this, I was like, is this wine? I've never really been known to be a wine person, red, white, whatever. I don't drink wine. It's, it's not my thing. So I'm gonna open this up. This is my first time genuinely looking inside of here. So we've got. Hold on, wait. There's one thing here. This is. Oh my god. It's Kitty Incredibubbles. <laughs> okay. So everlasting fun bubbles for your cat, not your average bubble stuff. Right, so I can basically blow these and will Kiki and Pascal go nuts for them. Blow the bubbles as high as in, in the air as possible. After a few seconds in the air, you can catch and hold them in your hand. Cats love to catch them in the air and to attack them on the floor. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Okay, and then we got something else inside of here as well. What's this? Oh my god. I think that's supposed to be... Oh, bless it. <laughs> that's supposed to be a big hedgehog. Oh my god. We've actually needed a toy on a string for quite some time now. Go on, fully unraveled. Oh my god. Has that got a bell in it? No, it's not. Okay, I'm the one that's jingling. <laughs> oh god. Now, I, they, they are semi-responsive to these, but the final thing inside of this is a laser pointer. Oh, i got to pull out the little the little slip first. There we go. Now it should work. Oh yeah. Can I get it to go into the camera? Whoa! -ho -ho. I don't want to do that too much, otherwise I'll destroy the lens. But there we go! That's genuinely really, really cool. Thank you to whoever uh, at the Ogscast sorted me out with that. But anyway, welcome back. So we are going to be doing our Secret Santa today. And if you remember correctly, we had Mr. Big B stats. Obviously, we had a run-in with Big B at the very beginning of the Evolution series because we took his cookie down. We left it exactly where we found it. And he complained that we hadn't rebuilt it for him. So um, that was all because he didn't have his papers in place. He didn't give us his coordinates until I think the first portal jump. It was quite a ways in. Um, so yeah, that's basically what happened. So hopefully this is going to mend things a little bit. And I never know what to do with secret Santas. Do you tell them who it's from? Or do you just put from Santa? Because that's what I did for my secret Santa for uh, our office this year. I literally put from Santa in the little card that came with it. And by the way... Um, I will show you in a second. I was just about to open my inventory, but obviously I am, like, going to drown if I do that. Ready for this? So look how tidy and uniform my inventory is right now. I'm going to give Big B two diamonds, but the way that we're going to give him that is by having Santa arrive on his sled with Rudolph on the rooftop. I literally just searched, I think it was something like Minecraft Santa or Minecraft Sled, um, and they came up with a really, really nice one on Google. So I'm basically going to try and recreate this one for one. I would try and do this in my own style, but I think I would either go too big and not be able to finish it, or it would just look naff to begin with, to be completely honest. Now I need to make sure that I remember which of those I actually make. Because otherwise, I'm going to ruin whatever work Big B's done here. Oh, 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 look at this. Is that an actual chimney he's made himself? Oh, no, not quite. It's kind of like a chimney. I guess we can have Santa, like, stationed up here. So, I guess, let's get into it. I think what I want to start with is I want to start with the sled. Oh, actually, no, I tell you what. Let's work backwards. Let's start with Rudolph to begin with, and we'll kind of go from there. So, from what I can see, it's kind of like a block here. Did I bring dirt with me as well? Yeah. Because I don't think you can get brown wool in the game currently. Because to get brown wool, you would need cocoa beans. And I think it's in the next version that we go to in Evo where we actually get a hole of that so I kind of had to leave that one for now in fact you're only one block deep I think on this little picture so I'm gonna go across to there so that's gonna be one two and then actually this is where the blue wool if I brought that yes I did works across the center here like so and then the rest of this is gonna be is gonna be all brown although I think we leave a little split by the legs for the tail to appear and these are like his little hoofs that he's got going on um, oh of course then this outside the side of this we're gonna go like Oh, I tell you what, it looks like it is a little bit higher. Yeah, you know what, it might be actually. This might actually be too tall, and then you do the dirt and the and the wood. Oh, uh, sorry, and the and the wool. So let's get rid of those two just there. See, even when I'm following an image, granted it's not like the best angle of the image, but I still get things a teensy bit wrong. So one, two, three. 
There we go. Because the reason that we've moved this upwards is because we need to allow the other um, hoofs to be able to go underneath it. So I think it's one block behind that. No, because then they would be touching. Maybe it's beneath that one. Oh, unless it goes across by two. I can't reach that one. <laughs> I can't reach this one wall block. Come on, come back to me. No, it's not happening. All right, let me break that one there. There you go. Good job. Right, okay. Let's do that one just there. There we are. And then that to there. And then you're going to go down by one. And one and two. That looks way better. Okay. At least he's relatively proportioned now, which is good. I'm going to duplicate it on this end, like so. And now we need to try and make the head. So this is the part that I haven't really looked at at all just yet. So I've got the little image up on my other screen. So I'm going to have to go probably on top of him for now try and figure this out so let's go up to here so we need to build his head see every time I look at this picture it looks like it's a certain size but then it's not so how about if I do this how about if I build the head off the edge here there we go so we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna go forwards by one more block there we go we're gonna pop the red nose on the front of it as soon as it's Rudolph there you go and then we're going to place down, it, does, it seems to have like almost like a beigey colour to it. So I'm going to go for pink wool. I, I don't think I can actually get any kind of like stained clay or anything in this version. I think that's from a very, very, very recent one. So I think that might be okay. And then we just need to do some like little antlers with some fence posts if we can. Oh, can you not place fence posts on fence posts in this version? Oh dear. Uh, okay, how are we going to make this one work? Oh, in fact, actually, that's fine. That should, that should look good enough. Yeah, okay, I'm into that. Um, I'm going to make his face a little bit fatter. Mm, actually, maybe not. Maybe if I if I do this. Oh, wait, actually, I think he's got a little bit of a mouth on this one. There we go. Does that look okay? Maybe if I put the mouth on the underside. There we go. How does that look so far? Let me step across this way. Yeah, you can pretty much tell what we're trying to go for here. I think that's okay. Yeah, all right, I'm down with that. All right, so now we need to actually put on the, I guess, like the reins, don't we? So the reins seem to start here. Oh, I need to... Oh, do I need to place a block in order for them to exist? So if I pop that there and get rid of that... Okay, cool. The fence post does stay. Amazing. And then it needs to go up by one and then out by one again. So I'm going to go up to there. Oh, my God. I forgot. We can't do that again, can we? Um, okay. I'm going to have to work with some old Minecraft things. So I tell you what, let's build this out slightly. There we go. We still need to do his little tail as well. So it needs to come off to there and be like that. There we go. <laughs> this is looking this is looking okay, actually. This isn't looking too awful. There you go. All right. So let's quickly go like this. There we go. Oh, there you go. Nice. And we should just about have enough fence posts to do the rest. So get you to there. There we go. Oh, and you probably need to do loads more dirt to about there. There we go. It only really needs to go to Santa's hands, and then we'll be fine after that point. Please tell me Big B has a bed. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. I can only sleep at night. What do you mean? It, oh. Just look, everybody. <laughs> just as I was about to start building Santa and the sleigh itself, it just started raining. Oh, man. It finally stopped. Okay. We're, we're back, everybody. <laughs> I ended up having to sleep in Big B's bed in the end, which probably means that next time there is um, there's some rain and I end up having to sleep again, or the next time I inevitably die, I'm probably going to end up respawning at Big B's mansion, which is totally fine. So as you can see at the minute, I'm basically working on getting the rains a little bit longer. And then we should be able to basically hook Santa onto the front of them. They might even have to come in by... Actually, would they have to? Maybe one of them might have to come in by a row. I'm not entirely sure. Tell you what, let's start trying to build Santa and we'll, we'll figure it out from there. So if I wanted to build Santa from here, I would put hands there and hands there. But I think the Santa that I have on this little design, he's only a certain number of blocks wide. So if I was to go like this, this would be Santa's hands. And then, yeah, I may have to bring you in by a block or maybe even by two. Yeah, in fact, I think I need to chuck one of those there. And then we can grab another fence post in a second, which I I have the sticks for, but not the crafting table. And we can basically make another one. Because our Santa's supposed to be three blocks wide at all times, so that would work okay. So we'll work on him in a moment. I want to start actually building out his body and figure out the rest from there. So he's going to have a little bit of a beard coming down the center there between his hands. And I don't think it extends to his body. I think his body begins just here. And then we're going to use the black wool and some yellow to build himself a belt buckle, which is good. I think he's about two blocks deep as well. So if we just sort of emboss everything backwards this way, 
that should be good. Obviously, we don't need to do that for the beard, because that's only a front-facing thing. Uh, and I guess even for the belt as well, we wouldn't really have to worry about that so much. And then we've got his legs, which I guess can go... Oh, maybe he needs to be a little bit taller than that. I guess we could even have his little legs laying out like that. There we go. And then we can have his little feet sticking out the top. Like so. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's work with that one. I, I like that. Santa's looking pretty good there. Let's have his belt go right the way through. Or in fact, he can have a little bit of slack out the back. He's got his, basically his pants are sagging. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And he needs a big old butt as well. So let's fill this part in. Okay, so if I was to go this way, does that look like Santa Claus? Uh, uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess it does. I guess even the arms probably could reach out there. And the fence post could just sort of sit either side of them. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Should we, um, in fact, there you go. Everyone has a little slack around the, uh, around the groin. So there it is. Got it. Santa's made. So I'll tell you what we need to do now. We need to basically build out the back of Santa, as in like the back of his seat. So let's do it like it is in the image to, uh, to the best of our ability. So we're going to go like this. There we go. And then this is going to come all the way around to here. And then we'll figure out the rest of the sleigh as we go on. In fact, what I might do is I might start building it out of green from here. And we can have this portion here be almost the back of the sled. So they can almost be like the, uh, the tail lights of the vehicle. There we go. Okay, so we need to basically build the sled around here. Like that. Basically, it's going to be one big trimming. Which I don't think I've got enough wool for. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got enough to get around the front there. And then it sort of stops there. So I guess now I could put in some other colours. Let's try and make this work. So if I was to go like this. There you go. There's, there's some kind of a pattern going on there. There we go. That should be enough. And then we're going to have this pattern going here. There we go. Nice. And then it's going to go up the back and up the back again. Tell you what, the entire front of the sled needs to be slightly raised, doesn't it? It needs to have a bit of a curvature to it. So let's do that just there. And that will mean that you can't really see anything. And almost we're using his feet there to look like it's part of the actual sled. That works for me. There we go. So now he's got headlights. Even though he's got Rudolph, he's got headlights on the vehicle itself. There we go. And we could probably bring that. In fact, we could probably even bring that in by a block. There we go. We would go like that. It's a little bit of yellow going on everywhere. And then we'll start with the white trimming just here. Starting to regret the amount of wool that I brought with me. It definitely doesn't feel like it's enough, does it? And in fact, if I were to change that around as I have done, that means now that we can have the full green border around the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, cool. This is this is shaping up. It's mostly just this part that I'm concerned about. But I don't really know what I could do differently with it. I guess I could just throw in some random other colours for now, couldn't I? And just to see if they sort of add a little bit of shape and structure to it. Yeah, I mean, that looks okay, doesn't it? <laughs> to an extent. I'll leave the block there. Let's quickly go and use Big B's crafting table and we can finish this thing off. Right, let's go ahead and make this then. So we're going to get the... Um, we could get a couple more bits of fence. Here we go. We're going to make a couple more of those. That's good. And then what else did we come down here to create? Oh, buttons. That was it. Yeah, how do you make buttons again? Oh, I can't actually remember. Oh, it has to be one piece of smooth stone. Does Bigby have any smooth stone inside of here? Oh, he's got a couple more bits and pieces of wool. That could have been handy for us about 10 minutes ago. Let me see if he's got, like, a furnace or something. There you go. Let's use a furnace. He's actually got a bit of coal in it as well, which is perfect. So, yeah, basically, we'll just get two of these. Those can dot the eyes, and we should be groovy. Maybe even get two for Rudolph as well. We could get two for him. Let's check if this actually works. Oh, no, it doesn't. What? Oh, there's the recipe. Got it. All right, okay. That that was my bad. I was looking in all the wrong places for the recipe. I got really baffled then. I was like, surely the recipe has to exist. All right, first things first then. Let's fix the rain. So we're going to get rid of... No, not you. We're going to get rid of this one here. And we're going to move these reins into the center ever so slightly. So if we put down, say, like a wall block there, you're going to go to there. And then same again for you. Oh, we can't stand on there yet, though. I keep forgetting that the fence blocks are solid in this version. Don't know what version of Minecraft it was where they decided to change it, but it did change eventually to allow you to actually step and, like, sort of shimmy around it. There we go. I think that should look okay. I might even add a little bit of slack into the reins as well. Like, if for maybe, like, two blocks here, it sort of sags a little bit. There and there and there. And then get rid of that one. Ugh, I pop that there. Yeah, look, there you go. That's got a bit more of a uh, bit more of a groove in it. Okay, right, next up, we're going to do the eyes. Where is it? Oh, okay. 
I mean, you won't be able to make the eyes out from a distance, but at least if you come up close to have a proper look, it'll be good. And apparently he just has his tongue sticking out, so <laughs> that's a thing. That's totally fine. Let's go get Santa's eyes on him. And then we also need to put the chest inside of here as well. So let's go like this and this. There you go. Santa looking all schnazzy. Okay, now it's time to place down the chest. So I'm going to pop the chest just there. Because then I think across the front of here, I can go like this. And he wouldn't think initially to have a little look just there, so that'll be good. Um, we're going to quickly throw in two diamonds as a little Merry Christmas. Might even pop a little sign in here as well that says... Oh, there we go. Ho, ho, ho! You have a wonderful Christmas. There we go. That should be good. Okay, I'm going to put the ch that just there, some wool. And I think that is going to be everything completed. Okay, so I've picked a location where I want to put down the sign. So I decided across this little ledge here might be quite nice, or even just by this doorway. So he won't immediately notice it, but if he ever goes to sleep and wakes up, he's going to catch a glimpse of it. If he comes in through those doors, very likely to see it. And it also seems like he's probably working on something here as well. So let's start the Secret Santa here. And just to scare him, I'm not actually going to prank him like Green did, but Green sent him to various different signs. And I have a couple of signs left over. So let's send him to two or three places, and then inevitably, to the rooftop. So let's try something like this. Santa brings uh, gifts to all the... Oh, you can't have the E in there. All the boys and girls. And then we're going to say, go to the doorway that, that's filled with swirls. Hopefully that will be obvious enough for him to come downstairs to his ender portal. Why is it ender portal? Nether portal even. Don't worry about any Christmas ghosts. And then we're going to say climb to the symbol of what you love the most. And then should I try and do like a cookie icon? I don't, think, I don't think that looks like a cookie, does it? <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's the closest thing to a cookie that I could do? I guess uh, that kind of looks like a cookie. I'll, I'll go with it. That'll be fine. So now we want him to go all the way up to the cookie on his rooftop. Okay, we're behind the big cookie. Well, the not so big cookie. His old cookie was a lot bigger. Uh, but here we go. Two more signs. We're going to say something along the lines of the inquisitive. I need to make sure I've spelled that correctly. Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Google the yeah yeah I got it right the inquisitive no I'm missing an I there aren't I inquisitive there we go one that seeks the truth here we go your see you're not so secret Santa is on the roof there we go and a little smiley face and then there it is. It's all completed. So that is it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please don't tell Big B that I was his secret Santa because there is no prank going on. There's no need to grasp me up. Just let him enjoy this wonderful Christmas magic and my not so wonderful Christmas build uh, <laughs> all for himself. And I will see you all in the next episode, which is going to be on, I believe, Christmas Eve when I get to open my secret Santa. And I'll see you all then. Ta-ra.